Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is next in love for you guys. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Okay, this could be with new love, current love, and ex. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, uh, Leo. Let's talk about Leo. What's going on with Leo and love? What's next to love for Leo? What is next to love for Leo for uh, May 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo. What is going on with Leo and love? Like I said, this could be with new love, current love, and ex. Just apply this to your own unique situation. Someone here is going through a huge spiritual awakening at this time, Leo. I mean, this could be you, okay? It's kind of like, you know, the universe is calling you, the universe is shaking you, the universe is trying to wake you up, and I feel like you're waking up to a situation that could, uh, you know, uh, where I feel like everything is about to change, all right? Uh, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio. We have the Four of Swords here. I feel like nothing has been the same when this tower moment hit. I feel like you're healing right now. I feel like you're recovering. I feel like you're introspecting, self-reflecting, doing some soul searching here, Air, uh, not Aries, Leo, or the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Page of Swords here. Someone here is wondering right now in this very moment. They're wondering if you still care about them. Okay, because I feel like this person still cares about you or that you could still still be caring about this person or that you're wondering if this person cares about you. I feel like you're trying to seek out information about your person or that your person's trying to seek out information about you. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Age, Gemini. Tell me this Page of Swords here. Why is this Page of Swords here with the Five of Wands? Okay. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is quite prob problematic here. Okay. Because I feel like this person is always finding problems. You know, this person is always creating drama here. And I feel like, the, you know, I feel like there was a final straw where I feel like, you know what? I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm out of here. Okay? Uh, so I feel like someone here came to a realization that there's nothing coming out of this situation. So I'm with the King of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like Leo. When it comes to this drama, I feel like you are giving too much attention to this person here or that you were, okay? You could apply this to your own timelines here. But I do feel like there's a situation where I feel like someone here is wondering if you still have feelings for them. Yeah. Um, tell me about the, pay, uh, the hermit. The hermit. Temperance. Yeah. I, so... Leo, I feel like right now you're in this energy of just really focusing on your healing here, focusing on finding stability and balance here, mental stability, emotional stability, and balance for both. Tell me the four of swords with a seven of wands. Yeah, so I feel like right now you're in this energy of just protecting your energies. Your guard is up. You have boundaries, okay? Uh, perhaps we're, uh, towards this page, we have the uh, tower and the queen of swords. I do feel like there is someone here that wants to talk to you. They want to get something off their chest. You know, like I said, I feel like they're, uh, you know, I feel like someone here turned their back on a relationship, okay? Uh, it caused a huge tower moment here. This person kept pushing your love away. This person kept resisting your love. I feel like this person, you know, every solution that you gave, this person made things harder here for you, okay? So I feel like someone here wants to come back around and heal the situation. What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on for Leo. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. There is someone here that's trying to rush back in. I, um, so we have the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're about to receive some sort of communication from somebody here where I feel like you have no contact with this individual. And someone here is rushing in with some sort of communication 
to basically communicate with you. I feel like this person is just curious to see if you still have feelings for them, okay? And I feel like you might. I feel like you might still. Let's see. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. We have the World, okay? With the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the Ace of Cups, okay? However, this is, I do feel like this person still has feelings here for you, and they're wondering if you do. Like, I feel like this person still loves you a lot. Now, it could be indication that you're ending the situation with, with this person for good. You're staying silent. You're not saying anything. And you feel like you could be moving towards new love here. Okay? Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hold on one second, you guys. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here? The Ace of Cups. With the Seven of Cups. Now, it seems like there's a situation where I feel like someone here went towards the other side of the grass and they realized it was not what, it, what they thought and they feel like this person is choosing you. Yeah, this person is choosing you now. We have the Knight of Cups, but it could be too late with the King, uh, Queen of Wands, Aries, Gil, Sagittarius energy. It seems like someone here wants to tell you the truth about how they feel. They thought that they could replace you with somebody else, and they feel like this person realized that they thought wrong here. Tell me the world. With the Six of Swords. I feel like there's a situation that you're definitely moving on from this here, Leo. Now, it could be that this person is unable to move on from you, and you feel like this person's completely hung up on this relationship. They realize that they had it really good, in that they realize that they broke their heart and they broke their own heart by causing this huge tower moment here. Tell me the High Priestess. We have the lovers. This person knows that you are the one. They, they are finally having this like major realization or that this major epiphany that you are the one for them, Leo. Like they're realizing that you are their soulmate. So I feel like there's no moving forward for them if you're not in their life. And I feel like this person's hoping that you will open yourself up to them again and get in giving this a try. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, that's really up to you. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. The problem is I feel like this person gets bored very easily. So I feel like, you know, with the nine of swords here, you might feel like when it comes to this person, you're walking in eggshells with this person here, okay? Uh, this person could stress you out, you know, uh, because I feel like this person's just very in and out, very inconsistent, all right, with the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, so we have someone from your past or someone that you're still dealing with that's wanting a new beginning with you after they broke your heart, okay? With the Six of Wands here, with the Eight of Cups, I mean, you could be just confidently still walking away from this person because you don't want any a part of it. Uh, we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus, with the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, you could be in this energy of leveling up at this time, really glowing up, and just not looking back. Yeah, because you have changed so much as a person because when you blow up, you completely change. Uh, King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone here wants to get something off their chest here. You know, whoever this is, I feel like this person might pressure you into being with them again. But, you know, it could be that you're happy with where you're at or that there's just been a lot of changes. There's no room for this person to, uh, to be in your life. So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.